So now that we've shown that the drag per unit span is equal to the far field uh, momentum defect, we can further explore the relationship between the momentum defect uh, as a function of location p of s and the profile drag. So remember that the momentum defect at the trailing edge is the sum and upper lower surface values at the trailing edge. Then the drag per unit span, which is the far field momentum defect, is going to be given by the integral of 0 to s on the upper surface of the shear stress. And this is from the von Karman equation, integral from 0 to s of tau w ds on the lower surface plus the integral from 0 to s of negative m d e e ds yes, on the upper surface plus the integral from 0 to s on the lower surface of negative m d e e ds ds, sorry these are s t e trailing edge S values. Plus the integral from S T E to S infinity wherever it stops changing is negative M D U E D S prime D S. Now this is well, complicated, but we can write this very compactly as drag per unit span p infinity, which is just the integral of the shear stress over the airfoil plus the integral of negative m d u e d s d s over the airfoil and the wake. And we're going to call this equation 1. Now again, we choose the x-axis to be parallel to v infinity to keep things simple. So then, basically, the drag per unit span can be divided up into a component of drag due to friction, skin friction, and drag due to pressure. So pressure drag, skin friction drag, and by definition of these two terms, the skin friction term is the integral around the airfoil of the wall shear stress dotted with the x direction ds and the pressure term, pressure drag term, is the integral around the airfoil of negative pressure on the wall and dot x. Yes. Now let's briefly stop, step back a bit to assess where we are. We obtained earlier the result that the drag is equal to the far field momentum defect from a control volume analysis of the airfoil's far field. Whereas this breakdown of drag into friction and pressure drag comes from integrating surface forces on the airfoil. Of course, both, both approaches must yield the same total drag, d prime. So if we use the results from the integrated von Karman equation, this equation one, what we can then see is that this first term is actually the same in both cases, so that this term corresponds to this term. And therefore, since there's no other contribution, this term must correspond to this term. So this is just the friction drag, and that's exactly given by the shear stress contribution, and therefore these two terms must be equivalent. So the pressure drag is actually equal to 
Delta star, which is another way of writing this, DPDS. Yes, to make it have to do something with the pressure or the airfoil and the wake. So, since this pressure drag is equal to this integral of the momentum thickness times the pressure gradient um, over the airflow in the wake, what we see is that pressure drag will mostly be produced where there's an adverse pressure gradient. So, where DPDS is positive. So we have an adverse pressure gradient in the presence of a large displacement th thickness. So where does this usually happen on an airfoil? Usually, this happens in the trailing edge region where the pressure gradient is adverse and the boundary layer has become thick. 